Assalamu alaikum. My name is David Heaton. I'm an English teacher. I work at a school here in Al Khor. And I arrived in Doha in August 2011 with my family. Two children, one son, one daughter. Uh, it was very hot when we got here. Uh, I live in Al Khor, which is just north of Doha. It's a coastal city. Before I came to Qatar, I had lived in Saudi Arabia for 13 years. Uh, I went there with my family. My father was working over there. So I grew up there. When I first got here, Al Khor was completely different. Uh, it was like unrecognizable. There was, uh, there was no mall. There was uh, only one gas station. Now there's three. There was a lot of wind storms because the lack of buildings, there was a lot of sand flying about in the air. There's been quite a few funny stories regarding my speaking Arabic and also my son, he speaks Arabic too. I remember one time we were in an elevator and I was standing on one side, next to me, my son, and there was this uh, Qatari family opposite us. So my son starts speaking in Arabic with a Qatari accent, and uh, the man in front of me is looking at me, and then looking at my son and wondering, is he my son? أنا بدأت التدريس في 2004 كنت أدرس في معهد في الجدة وأيضا أشتغل في أماكن أخرى رجعت إلى بريطانيا وبعدين جاني فرصة لعمل في قطر وجيت على مدرسة هنا في الخور وأدرس صف سابع وثمانية. Good morning. How are we? How was the weekend? What did you do, Khalid? أفرح لما أرى طلابي يتعلموا ويتطور باللغة الإنجليزية. Why a private car is safer than a public bus? Yes. Are you saying that buses are not as safe as cars? Yes. yes. Excellent guys. Good job today. طبعا ما أحب إن إني أبينهم إني أتكلم عربي، ولكن تساعد بالفصل عشان أستطيع أعرف ما ما هو محتاج هو. أين نقطة ضعيف عنده عشان ممكن أساعده بالتعليم Yeah, so uh, I finished work at around 3 o'clock uh, which gives me plenty of time to come back and uh, spend with the family Normally, we have uh, food in late afternoon. We eat a typical Qatari dish. It's made up of rice and chicken. It's very popular here. It's called uh, machbos. All right, who's hungry? I'm absolutely starving. Eat properly, come on. I was in Qatar, I felt that the weather was very cold. When I came to Britain, the weather was very cold. بعدين لما شفت أولادي يعني صغار ولازم رعاية أكثر أنا قررت إني أدرس في البيت خصوصي أول ما أروح من قطر للمغرب بكون مشتقة للمغرب أول وأول ما أشوف أهلي وأنبسط معاهم 
ويعني بمر شهرين هناك بحس خلاص خلصت ال... <تصفيق> خلصت الاجازه يعني تعودت على هنا I live here in a traditional house it's a one floor bungalow in Arabic it's called Beit Shaabi and it's got two majlises now majlis is quite a special thing here in Qatar it's a room designated for guests so you've got one typically for the females and one for the males I do go to the UK once every year. You know, it's good to get out of here in the in the heat of summer. It's very hot, but definitely I miss the beach. My children miss their friends, and uh, to be honest, uh, I miss I miss Qatar. So my hobbies are basically fishing. We do a lot of fishing, more so in the winter months than in the summer. But in the summer we do do night fishing. So we go out with flashlights and a spear and we 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 aim for a fish. It's a very popular fish here. It's called safi. Very tasty. I remember when I first got my boat here in Qatar. Uh, it was my first boat. I'd never owned a boat before, so I didn't know how to use it. So I was lucky I had a friend who is an experienced boatsman. He managed to come over and he came over to this marina here and he showed me how to do it, how to park the boat, use the reverse. Slow, 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 slow. Slow down. You got it? Yes. So here we are in Al-Dakhira. We got a family of dolphins, very friendly. And we come here, we visit them once a week. We haven't named them yet, but that's coming. This is Al Khor, Al Dakhira. This is where I always come out. But because of this time of year, the heat just uh, reduces the oxygen level in the water. So it becomes unbearable for the fish. So a lot of the fish move out to the open waters, the, where it's deeper, it's colder, and uh, obviously there's more oxygen for them to survive. Well, in this place, the type of fish I'd catch would be shattery, which is the most common fish here. It's a very popular fish. Uh, Safi, if I was using a net, uh, and then trolling would catch me fish like barracuda, hamor, kingfish. Sometimes I just come out here just to relax. It's a lovely scenery. We we have the flamingos that tend to come and graze over there. Uh, we've got the mangrove trees. The mangrove trees are just amazing because they plant themselves in the ground and their roots actually extend outwards and then they reappear above the surface and that's how they take in their oxygen, that's how they breathe. I love it here. I mean, it's great. It's, you know, I bring the family out here, just spend the whole day here. It's lovely. On the weekends, I visit my friends in their majlis. So a majlis is like, like an Arab uh, living room, but it's basically, there's one for guys, there's one for girls. So the guys can go there, kick back, relax. ديفيد زميلي في العمل اول ما قابلت ديفيد للامانه استغربت ف يعني وجهه كان وجه بريطاني او اجنبي فيوم كلمته كلمني عربي 
فهذا اللي خلاني استغرب للامانه هذا الشيء هو اللي ساعد ديفيد انه يتاقلم في هالمجتمع وهالمحيط بحيث انه اكتسب عاداتنا وتقاليدنا اكتسبها في عوامل ساعدته اللي هي مثل اللغه والدين ديانتنا في ديانتنا هذه الاشياء ساعدته بحيث انه ينخرط في هالمجتمع. ايش اخبارك؟ وين رحت اليوم؟ والله رحنا البحر وكان الجو ممتاز شفت راس لفان أيه. عديناها كملنا سيده حوالي 5 كيلو ووقفنا ما في هواء ما في ما في هواء زين الحمد لله الله وفقك والله عادة انا وابو ادم او ديفيد دائما نقضي الوقت يا في المجلس يا في البحر هو ريال يعني هابريح ناخذه مثل ما على على مثل ما نقول فدائما نقضي الوقت اغلب وقتنا في البحر او نجلس في المجلس شوف هذه الصوره هذه القوس الاخيره I was exposed to the Arabic language, the tradition, and also the religion, which is the religion of Islam. And uh, as the years passed, I read up literature. I made friends who were of the Islamic religion. And uh, you know, over time, I gained an understanding about it. So my two young children, uh, they attend uh, weekly Arabic lessons and Islamic lessons. I like Qatar a lot. It's modern. It uh, has all the facilities, hospitals, souks, it's good schools, good quality schools, good education. Uh, but I think really what stands out is the safety. It's a very safe country. You know, I can, I can take my family out any time of the day at night time and, you know, I'm not worried about them. I'm very happy that they're happy here. They're safe. 